I had called myself a diehard Resident Evil fan. Since Resident Evil 4 on the PS2, I have played every game released multiple times, and I've played the recent remakes an ungodly amount of times, but I've never played the original games. Until now, with the recent re-release on GOG, I finally own the classic trilogy, even if only the first game is out. And to be completely honest, I was always hesitant to play these original games because I was worried I wouldn't like them or the controls would be too difficult for me or I would be too stupid to figure out these PS1 era puzzles. But no more excuses, I finally played and completed my first playthrough of Resident Evil and this is what I thought. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Right away, this game charmed the hell out of me. While I've never played the game before, it instantly brought me back to that PS1 era of gaming. And I just love the look of that era. Something about it is so nostalgic to me. And while the dialogue in this game has been memed to death, by the Resident Evil community, seeing it all kind of for myself for the first time in the context that it was originally created in, I just thought was was wonderful and it just brought a smile to my face to hear these iconic lines. You don't mean you're experimenting on real people. This is really beautiful. Talking about the gameplay, this new PC release you know, it does have controller support. My Xbox controller worked great. And I'd say I struggled the first couple of minutes to kind of get a grasp on how to actually play the game. But after a few minutes, it, it started to click. It made a lot more sense. And while, while I always struggled perfectly dodging around zombies and the other enemies, especially the hunters, I would say that I didn't have much trouble grasping the controls. It wasn't as overwhelming or difficult as I feel like I've been led to believe by people online. I'm not going to touch on the story too much. I feel like we're all probably fairly familiar with the story of the original Resident Evil, even if you've never played it. But I thought it was a lot of fun with the wonderfully kind of silly voice acting, which I actually read Alex Aniel's like Itchy Tasty book, and he talks about in that book why the dialogue kind of is the way that it is, and I thought that it was really interesting. And it's a few reasons. One of the reasons was they wanted to use basic English for the Japanese audience, as the game didn't have a Japanese dub, just subtitled. I believe, and the actors didn't have the full story or context to what they were saying. They were just told to say these words, say these lines, so that's why some of the dialogue just sort of sounds funny because the actors had no context to what they were talking about, and I just thought it was kind of funny and interesting. But kind of going back to the gameplay, this definitely is just 100% what I love about Resident Evil. For years, I would kind of roll my eyes at the older Resident Evil fans that clamored for the, the good old days of fixed camera angles and low ammo and puzzles. But with the recent remakes and playing this, I get it. Like, there's so much charm with needing to think strategically about what you pick up, what you abandon, and just hoping to remember where like a green herb is, for example. This game made me feel like finding ammo was a luxury, and I'd get very excited about finding a little bit of ammo, knowing that because I found a few extra shotgun shells, like I'm gonna at least survive my next few encounters with a zombie, or the dogs, or hunters, or anything. It's, it's a feeling that I haven't had playing Resident Evil lately because they've been very action focused, which I, I love, but this is sort of a different flavor. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. 
Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait, I'll go and get another rope. And the fixed camera angles, uh, if you talk to teenage me around the time like Resident Evil 6 was coming out, I'd say fixed camera angles in games are, are garbage, is probably what I would have said. But now that it's many years later and I like to think that my opinion has matured and I've matured as a person, I kinda have grown to love these fixed camera angles after playing this. Like it really does add an extra layer of dread not knowing what's in front of you. Or when you can hear an enemy but you can't see them. Or just where they place the camera can add such like extra atmosphere to the moment. And speaking of the atmosphere, the music here, beautiful. I, I love it. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos that have been complaining about this release having like terrible music and I don't get that, but I don't know. It sounds fine to me and I love the save room theme and just the music throughout the game. I, I just loved how it sounded. I still need to play through the game as Chris, and I guess in this release they default you into an almost easy mode for your first playthrough, which is kind of interesting. And I'm currently in my third run as Jill, using the infinite gun I unlocked for beating the game in under, I think it's four hours. And I'm having a blast and getting revenge on all of those zombies and hunters. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I think this game holds up amazingly well, and I'm so happy to be able to experience this game, and I cannot wait for Resident Evil 2, and most importantly, like, kind of Resident Evil 3, since I actually really liked the remake of Resident Evil 3, but I've never played the original, and everyone tells me that the Resident Evil 3 PS1 version is the best one. Like, I got a buddy I worked with, who would tell me constantly that if I played the original Resident Evil 3, I would understand his disappointment with the remake. And I'm really excited to finally jump in to that, to kind of get a new experience for these Resident Evil games. But I do hope that we can get a more robust port of these, like, to consoles. But, you know, that's not what this release was, and that's fine. Maybe Capcom will see the hopeful success of this release and they will greenlight a proper, true, like, remastered Resident Evil trilogy similar to, like, the Tomb Raider remasters that came out recently. But in the meantime, I'm very happy that we have these, and I think it's fantastic that we now have a legal way to obtain these classic Resident Evil games in 2024. Because people don't still have a PS3 to buy them digitally. I don't know why I've seen that argued online so many times the last couple days, like on Reddit. And I've seen too many videos already claiming this port sucks and is garbage, and I'm so sick of this annoying YouTube social media mindset of saying X thing sucks because it's not like my hyper-modded Japanese version of Resident Evil from 2006, or, or something like that. Because believe it or not, some of us just like to buy a game and play it. Yeah, mods are cool, and they can, like, make the experience better, but claiming that it's a needed addition is just kind of wrong, in my opinion. It's like when people say Skyrim needs mods. Skyrim doesn't need mods to be great. These games are great with mods because the core of the game is pretty great. Mods can enhance the experience, but the vanilla version of these games is perfectly fine without any extra mods. And without any extra mods, this game still works and runs great, and I had a great time playing it. But what are your thoughts on this PC release? 
And what's your favorite Resident Evil game? What's your hopes for like the Resident Evil future? Let me know down below and have a great day. Come <laughs> on.